It's good to take the two of us. And where do I find you? A different path. A darker path. Logan, I was a very different man. Lead me. Guide me. Be patient with me. He's a person so iconic now. So I was wondering, what do people say when they meet you in the streets or in an elevator? Or how do people approach you? I'll tell you exactly what someone said to me on the streets here in Manhattan two days ago. He said, William Shatner, it's great to meet you. <laughs> I promise you. I'm, I, would I lie about that? <gasps> and he wouldn't believe it that I wasn't. I said, no, you've got the wrong person. No, no, it's not me. But then it's flattering too, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. It is, yeah. absolutely it is. Here's a guy who has reinvented himself again and again and again. An outstanding guy and a friend. So and that was a little bit of a divergence, wasn't it, that we took there? Yeah. You must forgive me. My brain is a little bit scrambled. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> so I'm going to look at my nose. So you started out like in the 60s, right? Acting? 50s? 59. I became a professional. Yeah, just just before the 60s were about to begin. I might have been responsible for the 60s actually being Ex what they were. Oh, really? Oh, man, I How? Tell you. Well, I had a colorful life, you know. Is that, is that all you're gonna say about that? Now you started to like... You need more details, <laughs> isn't there? Yeah, tell me about the colorful life. <laughs> no, I, I was a dedicated actor. I didn't even know that the 60s had happened. Uh, in 1964, I used to walk up a back street in Liverpool, heading to the theater. I did this every day for 10 months, and I walked past a weird-looking place called The Cavern, and I didn't know what it was. That's how much the 60s meant to me. Wow. But you stayed in this industry for so many years. What, what kept you the going? The acting business, not... not uh, I had no part of the film industry for a long, long, long time, nor indeed looked to have. And, and television came quite late in my career, too. If you didn't go to the Royal Shakespeare Company, you'd never heard, or occasionally watch things on BBC Two or PBS, then you might possibly have come across my name. Otherwise, not at all. So I spoke to a lot of actors who say that acting is kind of therapeutic. Can you oh, relate to that? Absolutely. Um, it's, it is the greatest therapy, and it's fun, and you get paid for it, sometimes quite well. Um, look, we are asked um, formally to examine who we are and how we might live different lives. And that involves a certain amount of self-analysis, a certain amount of processing about who you are and what you could be. And for most of us, a lot of it is about finding this character inside you uh, that's already there. So rather like a sculptor with stone, you know, the, the, the finished sculpture exists. It's just a case of getting rid of the, all the other stuff around it. It's a little bit like that. I don't want your suffering. I don't want your future.